Hey guys, what's up? Gray here, and today I will be showing off Monogame's content pipeline. This is a major part of Monogame because it allows us to load files into our game. You can load any file, whether it is a texture, font, or sound. You can easily store that texture or sound or font into a variable by using the content.load, which you've seen in my other videos. But in this episode, I want to solely focus on the content pipeline so that you can correctly import all of your data into your game. Inside of any mono game project, we can open the content pipeline. You can also see what is inside the content by opening up the content folder. If we open the content.mgcb, we will see all the content that we have loaded in. So the track and the bullets and the sprite font and the game background, all of these are here. And uh, I'll show you how to get them actually in here. But my point is all mono game projects have this content and it's inside of content. So if you open that up with the content pipeline, which the content pipeline can be found inside of your mono game installation, you'll want to find the location, which is usually in program files, go into mono game version three or whatever current version you're on, select the tools folder and run the pipeline.exe application. Once it is open, we can actually just find this project. Inside of here, we want to select the project we want to edit. So let's select file and hit open. Here's the content that we just were uh, fiddling around with in that last project. So let's open that. And here we go. This is all of the stuff we have. We have some folders that store different things and also some random textures in the sprite font here. So you can actually store this however you want. You can create folders. If you do, you just have to say like right here, how it's background slash track one or background main menu. But this one would just be bullet.png. It wouldn't have the background slash unless it was in that folder. And if you wanted to move it, you'd have to remove it. You can right click background and click add new item. And then you would just add it back in that way. Now we'll add content from our computer. By doing this, we can create a folder or we can just add a new existing item. So I'll right click on content and do add existing item. When adding a file, it'll also ask you what would you like to do with it. I always choose this first option, copy the file to directory. This means it'll create a copy of that file and uh, put it into the directory. You can also do these two other options or use the same action for all selected files. So uh, you have, really have choice when adding in files. And so you can just say add there. All right, here I've added my logo. So now that it hasn't been saved, you have to make sure that you do build rebuild. So it rebuilds everything and it looks like everything was successful. If you need help, you can come up here and uh, select this. It'll take you to a website that can potentially help you more. You can also sort them differently if you want to sort it by alphabet uh, or if you want to sort it by category. And then there's build output, which you uh, I have all selected, but you can deselect stuff if you don't want to see it. Those settings are also here and here. So now you can close out of that. Here in menu state, I'm just going to uh, create a new private texture and uh, we will call this logo. Here we'll say logo is equal to content.load and we'll say texture 2D and this is just called edit I believe, edit.png. There we go. We will also want to draw it so I'll just copy this and do logo and we'll say yeah, zero zero is a good choice so let's do that here in content we can see that edit is here and uh, this is all of the data it needs to know how to get to it and use it now when i hit play it'll have the uh it's pretty big but it'll be there it'll be my logo right on the new game uh i can move it around wherever i want all right but that is all if you did enjoy please drop a like i will have more mono game content on the way Next episode, I plan on doing a camera for the car, so stick around. Please drop a like if you did enjoy, but thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.